Well, the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks recently completed an effort to return bighorn sheep to an area of southwest Montana. Disease had decimated a recently reintroduced population in the Tendoys, but thanks to this recent effort, the more than 30 bighorn sheep are once again roaming that area. This relocation is This Week in Fish and Wildlife. This Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by your local Montana Toyota dealers. Thursday morning, time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Uh, we're outside Region 3 headquarters once again with Morgan Jacobs and Morgan. This is a story that we've been kind of following in different ways for a, um, oh, for a number of years. Yeah. Bighorn sheep in the Tendoys. Um, where are we with this right now? Yeah, well, we're at a really good spot, Chet. Mm -hmm. We now have uh, bighorn sheep back in the Tendoys again, mm -hmm. uh, which we're really thrilled about. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been, like you said, it's been a long process, a culmination of a lot of work uh, with FWP and, and with various partners and partnering agencies uh, to get this done. Mm -hmm. uh, so late February, we're, we were able to reintroduce uh, roughly 30 bighorn sheep back into the Tendoys. Um, uh, those sheep were captured from Wild Horse Island on Flathead Lake, um, and uh, you know we're really excited to be able to reestablish a herd there in one of their native mountain ranges. Yeah, that's been a place that's had bighorn sheep uh, historically. There had been some uh, issues with some of the uh, the sheep there. Being able to reestablish this population. Uh, taking them from a place that's a fairly isolated place uh, for bighorn sheep, moving them into a completely new area. That's got to be exciting for Fish, Wildlife and Parks. It is, yeah. You know, uh, this is a native range for them. There's, uh, uh, you know, Native American pictographs in mm -hmm. the Lima Peaks and in other uh, parts of that, that area mm -hmm. uh, that show bighorn sheep existing there uh, historically. Um, and, you know, we've, uh, we've had reintroductions there uh, before. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, back in the 80s, mm -hmm. uh, there was an effort to, uh, to reestablish bighorn sheep. Um, those sheep subsequently uh, experienced pneumonia-related die-offs. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, in the early 2000s, uh, Fish, Wildlife, and Parks initiated a, um, a, a depopulation effort that mm -hmm. used hunters uh, mm -hmm. in that effort um, to, uh, to eliminate the, the herd that was there that was uh, struggling to, to, uh, to thrive. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, and then just recently this year, we were able to reestablish uh, and reintroduce uh, sheep there uh, this, this year. That, that's got to be exciting, uh, having to, the ability to bring this population back. I know that that benefits the Tendoys, but also where these uh, sheep came from, it benefits that population as well, because obviously you, your numbers there were, were large enough that you felt you could take these 30 out of it. That's right. So, uh, so you know, Wild Horse Island is a very productive herd, mm -hmm. uh, just like, you know, the other herds that we've talked about for mm -hmm. these reintroduction efforts. Uh, so, yeah, it does benefit that herd, um, and, uh, you know, it, it, it does help provide a source for, uh, for reintroduction and, and, uh, and population augmentation efforts uh, through, around the state. So uh, a lot of these sheep, all the adult and yearling sheep, were outfitted with GPS collars, which will help us uh, keep track of their movements, their habitat use, uh, monitor mortality, things like that, and, and really learn uh, you know, how, how things play out with this. Uh, you know, by the end of next year, uh, we're hoping to uh, have introduced 60 bighorn sheep in total. So there mm. will likely be uh, additional um, uh, reintroductions there or, or population augmentations there in the Tendoys to come. So, you know, it's, we're really excited and, and uh, we, we're very optimistic and hopeful about this effort. And we look forward to talking to you about the uh, the next 30 going in there to make that population. Yeah, we'll check back in. Yeah. That's perfect. Again, Morgan Jacobson talking to us uh, this morning about a um, new sheep population uh, into the Tendoys. Morgan, thank you very much. You bet. And that's This Week in Fish and Wildlife. This Week in Fish and Wildlife was sponsored by Toyota. Let's go places.